everybody, NerdDad5000 back with another reaction video. If this is your first time at the channel, take a second to click that subscribe button. It's easy. All you have to do is... And you're subscribed. Also take a second to click that bell icon so you continue to get notifications of any time I release a new video. If this is not your first time at the channel, welcome back as always. New today, straight out of San Diego Comic-Con, which is this weekend, and there have been so many things coming out of uh, Comic-Con today. This is the new trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Uh, this is the sequel to the hugely popular Black Panther movie starring Chadwick Boseman, and of course, sadly, we know uh, in real life he has died. They went ahead and made another Black Panther movie, and then there's been some speculation about how they're going to handle his death. Uh, this will probably give us a little bit of a look into that. I have heard a couple of spoilery things about this one. It's been a few hours since this trailer came out. I've tried to avoid it, but I, there's no way to be on social media anymore and avoid spoilers about things that are coming out. So this trailer is just over two minutes. So this is the first official, well, they're calling it official teaser for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Let's see what this thing has to show us. There's, yeah, hi. I like this song, Bob Marley. No woman, no cry. Good friend, oh. good Marvel Studios placement. Hi, Wakanda. No. In this great future, you can't forget your past. They all look sad, and they're all in black. So, oh, who's having a baby? And had it in the water. Oh, I wonder if that was Namor. It looked like on his feet it had the little finny things. Oh, there's soldiers on those whales. Okay. That was one of the spoilers I've heard, is that we were going to get into Namor in this trailer. Oh, pointy ears and all. Definitely name more. Of the most powerful nation in the world. And my entire family is gone. Oh, there he is. Is that Martin Freeman? It almost looks like Daniel Craig. There's going to be a battle maybe over who's going to be in charge. Ah, it was definitely Namor. War between. Oh, there was a Black Panther. He had gold, though. What if it's gonna be, uh. November. Alright, so the trailer just says November. The description on YouTube says November 11th. So either way, November. Yeah, that looked really good. There was a lot in that. Let's go back and look at a couple of things. So I think this is Nakia standing on the beach. I like that they have the Bob Marley playing through the whole thing. That was a good song choice. And here is Angela Bassett as the queen. Some sort of celebration going on. And here's Angela Bassett on the beach all in black. Here's Shuri crying. It looks like she's on the beach all in black, so... I don't know who this is having the baby, but look. Little winged feet. So this is definitely, I think, Namor being born. This whole movie looks like it's going to be... It's going to lead up to a big battle between Wakanda and Atlantis. I think Namor's from Atlantis also, kind of like Aquaman. Yeah, this shot of these whales with the soldiers carrying the spears attached to the side. That's cool. I'm not sure what's going on with this platform. The soldiers attacking. That just looks like regular, like soldiers from some country and i think this maybe is a wakandan like platform 
there she is. I'd heard she was going to be in here, and I'm, I looked on IMDb, and I saw that she's here. But this is Riri Williams. Is that how you say it? Riri Williams? She's Ironheart. She's the really smart girl who makes the super fancy Iron Man-like suit. And then, of course, that's Shuri. Yeah, it is definitely Namor coming up out of the water. And maybe some of his soldiers there, the two on each side. But look, the pointy ears, definitely Namor. And then they've got this really nice painting. It's a tribute to Chadwick Boseman. I didn't read what it said. I saw an article that said that this was written, of course, in Wakandan. And, but it does actually say something, but I didn't read to see what it was. I probably should have looked at that. I don't know how he's going to die. I'm sure in the movie it's going to explain. Uh, but, of course, Chadwick Boseman's dead. So this uh, T'Challa is going to be dead. This Black Panther is dead. So they'll have to name a new one, I'm guessing, so they can move forward with Black Panther movies and having the character in the other Marvel movies. Here on the bridge. Look, that guy looks like a hammerhead shark. And they're blue. These have got to be some of... Uh, Namor soldiers maybe is that yeah that's Martin Freeman for a second I thought it was Daniel Craig but it's definitely Martin Freeman because he's been in these in that oh right see I missed this when it played through before this is her she like cut out a heart so Iron Heart is supposed to be her character with the Iron Man looking suit uh, that's definitely Namor oh look see the little winged feet this looks like maybe it's Wakanda like they've attacked Wakanda and now they're having to retreat Water smashing into the throne room. There's a Koye fighting somebody, and she is. It looks like she's having a little bit of a hard time. There's a close up of Namor with his pointy ears. This great big, looks like emerald earrings. Oh, he's got a. Looks like he's got a thing through his nose, too. I get the feeling that the look of this, they're maybe going for like uh, an Aztec type or. Um, yeah, we'll say Aztec type backstory for Namor because some of the paintings that they showed the way his soldiers were dressed definitely looked like uh, it could be like Aztec inspired anyway Aztec inspired yeah here's some of the Dora Milaje and probably led by Okoye uh, attacking the soldiers that took over the platform here's some of the of Namor soldiers climbing the wall and here comes the Dora Milaje uh, repelling down the wall to fight them then here's a Black Panther, but see, he's got the gold. Did Chadwick Boseman? No, Chadwick Boseman didn't have the gold, did he? I don't know, but this Black Panther does. So apparently we're going to, before the end of the movie, we're going to have a new Black Panther. He'll probably come in at the last minute and save everything. And I say he could be a she, but I don't know who it's going to be. So Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, November 11th, I think is the date, so... Yeah, looks like it's going to be a, a really good movie. Looks like they have figured out a good way to deal with Chadwick Boseman's death, to keep the stories of this character going, because, I mean, the story of the character is that, you know, one Black Panther dies, the next one takes over, and then the next one takes over. So it's really in the history of this character and the story for a Black Panther to die or leave and for the next one to take over. And as much as we all love Chadwick Boseman, uh, and as much as we love all these Marvel characters, these actors are not going to be able to play them forever. So they're going to have to come up with some way eventually for all of them, either to just kill them off, like Tony, or have them just time travel and turn old like Steve did, or they're just going to have to have them die, I guess, like uh, T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman did. So uh, but looks really good, lots of action. I'm really glad to see Namor because that means looks like maybe in these coming up movies they're starting to spread out some because... The first several, what are they calling them, phases. The first several phases of the Marvel movies pretty much were Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, Hawkeye, and Natasha. And we didn't get introduced to too many characters outside of that except for bad guys. Uh, so now they're really starting to spread out. And it's, I'm sure it's because of maybe the multiverse stuff, um, which I still haven't seen. I'm really far behind on my Marvel movies. I've got to get caught up before a lot of these come out. Um, but anyway, yeah, looks really good. November 11th, Wakanda forever. Can't wait to see it. And as always, if you like what you see, please click subscribe. The easiest way is the little red square that's right over here in this bottom corner. Also take a second to click the bell icon so you continue to get notifications of any time I release a new video. 
If you like what you see, please click like. Likes are super important, not only to my channel, but all the channels you watch. What are you hoping to see from this movie? What do you think we're going to see in this movie? What things stood out in the trailer? Maybe something that stood out that I didn't mention. Now, I didn't go over the whole thing, but just you know, hit some of the big things that I liked and did see and did notice. Put all that in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, this has been NerdDad5000. I will see you later. Bye.